everyone. Um, this is going to be a very quick video, but I did feel that it was appropriate that I give you a little bit of a um, background on how my week has been. As you can hear, I am very, very, very sick. Um, last Wednesday, <clears throat> I had uh, uh, the flu. I was up at night, all night long, vomiting. It was awful. Felt okay, kind of the next day. Went to the hospital. The midwife had just said, don't worry about staying. Make sure that you eat what they call the brat diet, which was bananas, rice, applesauce, and toast. And she said, really, is, you know, I don't care if you eat as long as you get fluids down. So that was good. I had uh, managed to maintain um, fluids. And then, um, and food was fine after that day. I was really, really gassy, like burping, which I'm still doing. Pardon me. And then I ended up having uh, my very first episode of heartburn, which I thought I was having a heart attack. So, ugh, I bought this new nail polish. It's awful. Anyway, taking it back. It's called Butler Please, I think, by Essie. Gross. Anyway, so um, today is day three of feeling the way I am. Um, I could start feeling it at night. My throat was really dry and scratchy. I went to my, or I called my mid, page my midwife um, yesterday. She told me to go to my doctor's. So I went to my doctor, um, and basically the only way to establish between pneumonia and bronchitis, um, bronchitis is viral, and then pneumonia is more bacterial, is by doing an x-ray, which you don't want to do when you're pregnant. So, um, I am now, well, tomorrow I will be 29 weeks, so this is the end of my 28th week, and, um, under the advice of my doctor, um, we've gone on some medication for, um, <coughs> for pneumonia. However, <coughs> there's two kinds. He leveled it as A, B, C, and D in the five different categories of safety for pregnancy. Um, a and B were pregnancy safe, tested, and um, sort of clinical tests on that. Um, C is considered, that level of medication is considered unknown. Um, so although it doesn't show that it could be dangerous, it hasn't necessarily had the clinical studies. Um, and then D and E, and I guess maybe, maybe it goes on beyond that, progressively gets more dangerous for pregnant people. So the two, the main one that they always sort of just treat with, and if I was not pregnant, they would just say, yeah, do this. And the antibiotics, um, is a C category, which is no good for me. Um, the other one is a B category, which is pregnancy safe. So that is the one that he gave me. It's five pills, but the treatment is over 10 days. So you take the two pills the first day, and then you take the next four pills the next four days. And then the five days after it's still working in your system. You're just not actually taking the medication. So that's where I am. Um, my mama came over today and, um, I have been in my bed all day long. If you can see over here, we've got a cool water humidifier going. I've got my two little puppies sleeping and cuddling with me. Um, over here, I got my trusty box of tissues. I've also got my baby wipes, which I find are much nicer on my nose. Um, I've got a little concoction of honey and lemon um, to soothe my throat because it is so sore and so dry. A um, little bit of vapor rub. My water. I've got some orange juice. <laughs> And what else do I have? I just did a castor oil pack on my back. Um, so this is my hot pad, and I've had that on my back. And I had some castor oil, and I wrapped it around my back just to get stuff moving, hopefully out of my lungs. And that's pretty much it. I've been watching Life of Pi. 
I read the book a few years ago. I don't actually really remember the movie or the book so well, so the movie's kind of like, I think I can remember the end, but that's about it. Um, what else can I tell you? 28 weeks, almost 29. I have a video of Kieran, the baby, kicking, um, which I will post shortly, and I just thought maybe I'd see if I can give you a bump. There's my bump. There's my baby. It's a big baby. <laughs> My husband, Craig, is 6'5". So we are, like I said, 28 weeks. This is not a good video picture at all. I look ginormous. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, and for all of you pregnant moms out there, if you've gotten sick before, let me know how you get through it because right now I'm feeling like poop. I'm not sleeping at all. Um, I had to get out of the bed last night and go into the other bedroom because the two dogs were in here, which they normally aren't. Um, but because we had been at the doctor's and away all day long, we left them in here so they, cause they'd been by themselves. So I had them, my big snoogle, my husband, I was cranky, couldn't move. I got into the other room. Raymond came and slept with me, the deer. He's so cute. And, um... Yeah, but if you guys have any suggestions on what I should do, um, I am more than happy. I'm going to take a little bit more of my lemon and honey concoction. It's weird. It's like super sweet at first, and then it's like, wah! Sour, sour, sour. But it makes my throat feel way better. Mm. Okay. Let me know. Comment in the below bar. And, uh, yeah, I'm sorry if you're sick and happen to watch this because it does not feel good. Um, take care and I'll see you next time. And I hope, take care and I'll see you next time. And hopefully it'll be feeling way.